Welcome back everybody to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming and in this episode we are going to leave the planet. We are finished with this prospect. So uh, Argos Exploration is a 30 day prospect where you basically just go sandbox. Um, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, so it took us 10 real time days uh, to build this awesome base and explore uh, Icarus. We pretty much have explored the entire forest biome. We've been up into the Arctic a few times, and in the last episode, we, we just kind of stuck our toes in the desert, so to speak, but we, we didn't really get very far uh, before the game told us to turn around. But anyway, that's the base that we built. I did not use any of the advanced uh, fancy building materials, um, just, you know, just the basic stone stuff, and, you know, I, th I think the base turned out pretty nice. It's not super fancy uh, it could be a lot fancier but um, it served its purpose uh, purpose and uh, it, it's a neat location and uh, I'm pretty happy with you know with how things turned out and we uh, you know hit level 45 that's where we're at right now we started getting into some really good food and you know got um, most of pretty much everything in the tier four uh tier that i wanted to get at least this first time around and yeah so we're doing pretty good um and yeah so sorry i keep saying and yeah um yeah i don't think there's yeah i said it again stop it quit saying yeah <laughs> i don't think there's anything else for us to do i have um you know i i, I have that drill still up in that mine, but I mean, we're done. So there's not really any point in me going back up there and refueling it and grabbing the iron out of it. So we're going to take off and we're going to decide what our next prospect is and say goodbye to what has been our home for 10 real time days and however many in game days it's been. And so, yeah, let's take off. Here we go. G goodbye, base. We can't take anything with us from what I understand. So. We're just going to go and start over again on a new prospect. So I have, um, you know, I've only done, I've only done the live wire prospect in the, in the first ones. And, I, and we attempted to do one of the boss kill ones on our first multiplayer attempt, but it didn't work out. So, you know, this part of the game where we start doing the missions and all that is, is going to be. Uh, fairly new territory uh, for me. I, I mean, I understand how it works and all that, but yeah, it's going to be cool. So I'm looking forward to it. But there's our base. Pretty cool. Okay, let's hop in the pod and here we go. Return to station. Uh, return to orbit will settle your claim to this drop and delete all items you are currently carrying. Rewards will be calculated once everyone leaves. Uh, here we go. We still have our armor on. <laughs> it probably isn't going to let us take that with us, though. All right. So we got a thumbs up rating. And um, there you go. And like I said, you know, we're not, I don't think we get any, actually get anything uh, for that mission, but. Um, it was sure a lot of fun and and you know we leveled and learned a, a lot about the game and are in really good shape i think to continue on okay so i guess we go to select character we are now on the space station and i don't believe we need this anymore so we can delete that and we don't need that anymore Okay, so if we go to workshop, we have 125 uh, currency, but there isn't really anything else for us to get other than, you know, maybe a suit upgrade. <clears throat> um, but what we're currently, what we currently have is, I guess this one here. Yeah. So this one is five physical, five physical. One suit module slot, oxygen slot, water slot. One food slot in in suit. Oh, we have a module slot. 
Oh, okay. So this one has a, f oh, that's kind of cool. They have a different slots. Um, this is the mass dampener module, which er, module module, which gives us 5% speed, um, which we could afford with our new suit. And boy, you know, I, if you didn't watch my last episode, the one previous to this, um, I did comment that, man, there's a lot of running around in this game. So speed is actually a thing for sure. Um, this is out of our ability to be able to afford right now. So, I mean, we could spend some money on this, I guess, uh, for that 5% movement speed. But I don't know. I, th I think we're going to hang on to our, our currency for now and um, uh, start doing missions and, and start building that up and unlocking things. Okay, so that being said, let's click New Prospect and um, see what our options are. So I don't think I want to do these... Um, these hardcore ones, at least not right now, because my understanding is if you don't get those done uh, in time, you you lose your character. And that is not something I want to have happen right now. So uh, I guess then what is the next thing we might want to do? There's an ice storm expedition. Disrupt Arctic storm system with experimental tech. Um, and that opens up deep vein extraction, which I believe we need to do in order to um, get into exotics. So my understanding is it's that one, and then there's another one called, uh, uh, I don't know, where is it? Dry run, death ray, death ray scan, field test, pyramid construction, sandy bridges, sandblast exploration, spirit level, oh, payday extraction, okay. Yeah, I think this is the one that the other one that can open up exotics for us. Um, but I kind of like the idea of maybe trying out the you know the snowbound since we had a little experience with it. We're not going to do anything hardcore right now, uh, or we could try this kill list extermination. That's a six day thing. Eliminate lethal predator. That might have been the one that we. Uh, you know, that we tried to do on the multiplayer and we're not able to do it. That's a six day. This is also a six day. Uh, yeah, let's try this kill list extermination. Let's go ahead and try that. So, um, or what's this? This is dry run, blaze a trail to the canyons. So that would get us into the desert and that would unlock this little hub here. Looks like this is more desert stuff up here, whereas this is Arctic stuff, maybe? Not really sure. Um, well, let's, yeah, let's try this kill list um, one here. So, the assembly don't trust anyone, but they need help. The assembly's reporting wildlife issues on the surface. An animal is causing problems for their forward team. They want you to track the thing down <coughs> and eliminate it before it hurts anyone else. Wish I could tell you more, but data's light on the ground right now. Guess that's why they need you. Okay, so this is a two skull difficulty. It's a six six day well, it's actually a seven day thing, and we're back in the forest on this. Um but I, I, I'm pretty sure we can do this uh, in way sooner than, way quicker than six days. So, yeah. All right. Let's do this. Claim prospect. That's all we have to take with us. And um, this is just private. Let's do it. So, I guess it's probably just going to drop us back down into the same general vicinity that we were before. But what we'll do is we'll see where it wants us to go and we'll try and build a little bit closer to that site so we can just knock it out. Now, it is not my intention to, um, we got another Talon point? Really? I don't think that's right. It's not my intention to, to do big, fancy, sprawling builds for, especially not for these shorter missions. Um, you know, we're going to do more basic functional builds. It is going to be, we are going to get the stone though, so we don't have to screw with the you know, the storm issues, but, uh, it's, it's going to be more, you know, more functional basically is what I'm trying to say. The assembly came up fast. 
and they're doing the same on Icarus. But they don't trust anyone. Okay, not even exactly. Sh the assembly weren't always a big presence on Icarus. Now they're looking to change that. But local wildlife's been making problems for their survey teams. The kind they didn't walk away from. The latest encounter is marked on your map. You'll need to investigate it. See if you can track down whatever has been hunting their crews. Group 15's got a theory that exotics have been making animals more aggressive. I don't know about that, but either way, I'd say it's time to tool up. And I don't mean carpentry. He doesn't mean carpentry. Okay, here we go. New prospect, you guys. So this is this is going to be interesting to me again because, you know, we got to start all over again. And I think I'm going to be okay with it, but I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> it kind of sucks, you know. We were we were kitted out in the last prospect, and now we're starting from scratch. But the the nice thing is, you know, we've learned all that stuff, so it'll t we'll be able to get back up a lot quicker you know, uh, to where we were than before. Um, okay. So that being said, let's, um, uh, we need to find a couple stones so we can make the pick and we're just going to shoot up as quickly as possible, you know, up the tech tree, um, as we go along here. So yeah, I don't actually have another talent point. Okay. So let's craft that and we'll craft this just the usual stuff. We'll get a, a normal bow going. Um, you know what? I let's just let's learn this. There we go. It's done. That way we don't have to screw with this shitty torch here. Uh, so we're gonna need to find some sulfur for that, which is fine. <clears throat> uh, did we not make an axe? Uh, maybe we ran out of wood. Okay, so let's go find some stone and get started with this. Yeah, this is a, it's kind of a an interesting um, vibe, I guess is the word I'm looking for for me that we're starting off. <laughs> Starting all over again. Uh, it's just, it's very interesting. Um, not necessarily bad. Uh, not, well, not really bad at all. It's just, like I said, interesting. Okay, we're going to definitely want a stone knife for a short period of time. Uh, we will put the Kniffy in one, and that can all go in there. Okay, and then let's just make some stone arrows. i have to get started with that. Oh, and some bandages, too. And those we'll put in the zero slot. <clears throat> okay, cool. So yeah, we're not we don't really need to level level. We need to oh, squeeze me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we need to sneeze. Uh no, we, we just need to, to gear up. And so yeah, we'll see how this goes. Okay, let's take a look and see about where we are on the map. So yeah, we're not too far away from I think where we were before. Um in fact, uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get my bearings here on where we actually are. Here, let's look at this again. Oh, we're actually further to the south. Okay, yeah, we are further to the south. Uh, we were like up in this area, I think, in the last prospect. All right, cool. So. Yeah, all right. Let's go uh, work our way down this way. And we'll just keep, you know, picking stuff as we go. We don't really need to do this again for um, for XP purposes, but we are going to need some of this stuff. Um, we don't need these, so let's drop those. And what else do we want to craft oh we need to find some sulfur so let's find some sulfur so we can make that torch so that way we have it handy it, it I'm, I'm just kind of thinking in my mind oh you know what are the priorities now um and, and i know in general they are you know get get back up in the into the tech stuff as fast as possible but you know the it's more like okay so what are we what's the best way to go about doing that is what i'm Kind of trying to think about here right now. All right, so we will put this in here. Might as well just mine 
all of this first oxide stone. We're probably going to need it before we can get to the dissolver thing. Okay, and I'd like to find a little bit of sulfur too if we can for that torch. Sure, there's going to be some around here somewhere. I'm just, uh, yeah, I, th I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I know where we are. I, I mean, I do, but it's, it's just not registering in my brain quite yet. Okay, let's get this sulfur here. Oh, it's painful using this stone pickaxe after our titanium pickaxe. Uh, all right, let's craft this. I suppose we might as well make some um, cloth armor, too, uh, for now. It's better than nothing, right? Plus, it gives us a little bit of a move movement buff. Uh, so let's craft this stuff. Uh, we're going to have to get some more fiber for that. So I guess the other thing too, you know, is um, I have to kind of decide what exactly I'm going to show you guys moving forward because at some point you're not going to want to keep watching me run around picking bushes and we're going to have to do this at the beginning of every new prospect. Um, so I'll probably keep you with me for the entire time on this first episode for this prospect, but... Then moving forward, there's going to be a lot of off-camera stuff on my part just to kind of get back up to where we need to be. Uh, that's kind of the plan at this point anyway. Okay, so we should be able to make uh, the rest of... We need to make everything except for the hat. All right, so we'll make the chest. Those, those, and those. Very good. And then it just puts it right on us. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's head down to the lake, uh, which is down this way, right? Yep, and also the first spot we need to, to go to. Uh, thats I don't think that's the spot where we actually engage the predator, but it's like gives us you know our first clue. At least I hope not, because I don't think we're ready to do that yet. <laughs> so, oh, we should be picking some berries here. That'll be our first food. And uh, start hunting as well. Oh, that's this lake. Oh, yeah. Again, if you guys didn't catch the last episode, I found this lake and I really liked it. And I said it would be cool to build a base on that little island there. Well, guess what we're going to do? You got it. That's what we're going to do. It's not, like I said, though, it's not going to be a super fancy schmancy thing. Um, but... We are going to go to this first area and just see what the clue is. And uh, pick some watermelons for the moment, too. I'm I, I, I'm pretty sure this isn't going to, like, activate the boss on us. I'm, I'm glad we're actually down in this area, though, because this is the area that I'm the least familiar with on the forest map. Well, that's not entirely true. I mean, we only went all the way to the, the east once, too, but... I don't know, I just, I kind of really like this area here. All right, let's take a look. We are, we just need to go down here. All right, we're supposed to investigate something. I think it's some bones, if I remember right, from the multiplayer game. So let's look around. <clears throat> Here we go. Something big did that. Good find, but we need more. We've marked another attack site on your map. There's a deer over there. Okay. Um, where is that at? Oh shit, that's way the hell up there. All right. 
Well, we're, we're definitely going to live at this lake uh, for this prospect. So why don't we go get started with that first? Um, where, where's the lake at again? Oh, this way. It's uphill. And so what we'll do is we'll, uh, kind of get started with our, our base first before we do a whole lot more. We'll eat some berries and watermelon for the buffs. And we need to do some hunting, too, to get some... Meat. Oh man, I really love this area. This is just the coolest thing ever. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, let's get over here. Now, I guess, um, we could potentially start off in a cave. Maybe. No, the bad, you know, the downside to that is we're going to have to deal with pneumonia until we can make the medicine for it. And we can't make the good medicine for that until we make the herbalism bench. Okay, so I just got to figure this out, you guys. <laughs> Like I said, this is a new experience for me. Super fun, though. Here, we'll pick some carrots, too. All right, let's um consume the stack. That should give us a, another buff. Not a whole lot, but it's better than nothing, right? Okay, so if we're going to live on this island, obviously the trees and the wheat's going to have to go. Well, it will as soon as we uh, put our thing down anyways. But I think what we'll... I'd like to actually save that wheat. We might as well, right? Um, so why don't we make ourselves one of these big fire pits? Because there's actually a decent amount of storage in there, and it won't get jacked up by the weather. So we're going to need 25 wood and 100 stone. So let's start working on that. Okay. Let's go over to the island and cut these two these trees down because they they can't stay there obviously. And that will also give us uh, the wood that we need. Uh, is that gonna fall into the water? Guess we'll find out. Oh. Okay. Minor showers, okay. Not super worried about that. Get out of here, you little bastard fish. I'll eat you for dinner. Another one? Knock it off. We probably should actually find a a boulder shelter um, until we get you know the house built because we're probably going to get like lightning storms and all that kind of stuff. But let's go back up to the sh uh, shore here. Uh, all right, where are we going to do that at? We want it to be as close to our build site as possible. Looks like there's some workable boulders down here. Um, maybe this one? Those aren't very big. Uh, yeah, let's try this one. So we'll crouch and carve out a little niche here. That should work. Uh, 
All right, so yeah, we have exposure, and now we don't. Okay. All right. That's done. I'm going to keep working, though, because the storm isn't that bad. Let's repair this thing. Okay, let's um, refresh, uh, or rather remove our storm exposure, and then uh, we'll be fine for the rest of this storm here. So I'm just trying to think, um, don't really want to try to get to stone building with stone tools. Uh, oh, you know what? There is a cave right here. There's a cave right here. I mean, this would give us the shelter, take care of all that. We just have to deal with the pneumonia crap all the time. Um, I can make... No, I can't make those. I can only make that anti-poison paste. But if we, if we set up shop in here, um, we could probably make do until we could actually just build a stone house. So I guess the question I have to figure out m for myself is, should we go to the effort to build the wood house and then upgrade it later and have to deal with the damage and all that? Or should we just live in the cave until we can make a stone house? Uh, we're going to live in the cave. That's what we're going to do. So... This is a big cave, too. Here's a bad guy here. All right, let's run before we get spit. All right, where's the other one? Right here. Didn't we kill you already? All right, run. Are we not killing these guys? I guess we're not. He looks... Oh, shit. No, we can't get a bunch of stacks of that stuff. Um, Let's see if we can get these guys with our, our bow here. Uh, let's also refresh this and this and this. He's he's dead. There was some more further in. Yeah, I dodged his spit. I think he's dead. All right. Now there was another one. Somewhere in here, I thought. I think he's around the corner. Over here? Oh, maybe we did get them all. Oh, no, there's one way back there. Okay, he's done spitting. I don't think I actually hit him. Come on, pop up your ugly head. Did wait, did we kill him? I don't think we killed him. No. Yeah, we got him that time. You know, the other nice thing about being in, in the cave to start with is we got the ores here too. So they're just right here. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. If we get pneumonia, we get pneumonia and we deal with it. But our but we will be building a base out on that island. 
um, you know, when the time comes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back into right about here-ish. And we're going to make the fire pit. And that's going to be our fire pit for starting out, cooking food, that sort of thing. We got a little bit of fish. We need to go out and do a little bit of hunting, too. Also, we got to get a bed rolled down, of course. Um, so let's put you there, I guess. No, that's kind of jank. Let's see if we can set it a little nicer than that. This is going to be our home for just a little while. You know, I guess the other thing, though, is if we set stuff a little closer to the entrance, we don't have to fight all the worms all the time. And we do have a bit of an area here that we could work in. Uh, is this considered shelter? I don't know. Okay. Let's load it up uh, with some wood. In fact, let's just put a bunch of stuff in here um, and activate it. It should cook the fish and the carrots, but I don't th think it'll mess with any of that other stuff. All right. Next order of business is to get a bedroll down. So uh, in order to do that, we got to go hunting. Okay. So... And then we can make bone arrows and a bone knife and all that in, as a part of that process. What time is it? It's 1600. Yeah, so let's get to it because we're kind of running out of time here. We need to make some more of these arrows. Uh, and we need more stone. Let's just grab the stone out of here. And uh, where is it at? Here we go. Let's craft a whole bunch of those. I don't care how many we actually do. Uh, we don't need... Oh, come on. Storm... Well, at least it's a minor shower storm. Okay, let's start hunting. Uh, we need to get enough fur and hide and all that kind of stuff to make the bed. Yeah, very, like I said, very interesting vibe starting over again like this. So I imagine, you know, what we'll do is we'll eventually kind of figure out the most efficient way to to start. I uh, hear a wolf up over this way. There he is. The way I'm doing it right now probably isn't the most efficient way, but this is the first time... Well, technically the second time that I've started over. Uh, in single player, anyways. Uh, don't have a good shot off on him. There we go. Alright, our first kill of this prospect... Uh, how much do we... We need 20 fur. We got everything else. We just need 20 fur. So three more wolf kills. Well, assuming that you get five fur every time. I don't know if you do, actually. Might do it. But we'll take a deer or anything else we can come across, too. And we'll keep picking berries and melons for the moment. Not the best food in the world, but it'll sustain us until we can cook something better. Okay, we got a deer uh, down here, so let's um, see if we can take that deer out. Alright, let's just follow it. They don't usually run too far. We could... Yeah, there it is right there. Oh. <laughs> I thought it got stuck in the bush at, at first. Okay.
Uh, we probably better go back down to our little shelter or to the cave and reduce our storm exposure. Yeah, we only got two hide from that. Well, let's get the bone stuff too because we want that for sure. Uh, oh, I forgot to get these bones. All right, let's head back down to the cave. Get rid of the storm exposure and then we'll continue. Uh, can we get that thing too? There's a big old buck right down there. Oh man, this bow is not my compound bow. There we go. Right in the nose. Poor deer. Oh man, this exposure is really messing us up. Alright, let's get this one. And then, um, take all of this, get the bones. Item's broken already. Uh, and I don't have any stone. Alright, we can, we can use this. I don't know if it's as good as the knife, but it'll work. Okay, let's get back to our cave. There we go. All right, let's get some meat cooking up in here. And I'm going to store the hide and leather and sticks and that sort of thing in here for now and the sulfur. We don't really need soybeans or any of this stuff for now because we there's nothing we can do with it. Uh, but we got 82 bones, which is great. So um, I want to make a bone knife. Uh, which we need leather and wood for. So let's grab that. And then we're going to make some bone arrows as well. All right. And let's destroy the stone knife. Put the bone knife there. And then how many of these can we make? 12? Okay. 12 is a start. It is a start indeed. I think we'll temporarily keep the stone arrows for a little bit longer too. Okay, so put the hide in there. Uh, the fiber, the wood, all of that stuff. Consume stack, consume stack. Oh, I guess we don't need to. Uh, all right, let's go. It's getting dark. Uh, we got some deer over here, or I think, yeah, deer or wolves or something. Alright. Got four hide out of that. I think I killed the mama deer. Sorry, baby deer, but uh, this is all about survival right now. And, um, I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Okay, well, shit, it's getting dark. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to get enough hide to get the bed, uh, bed roll done tonight or not. We'll see. Not really, not really going to be able to hunt in the dark very well. Kind of just stay close to the lake. Okay, there's a deer. And a rabbit, too. Look at that. We got the rabbit on the run. Okay, do I have... Um, am I using the bone arrows? I think I'm still using the stone arrows. Uh, yeah, let's switch to the bone arrows. That's going to be better. No, we're not messing with the bear right now. Not right now. Okay, there's another deer. Wow. No shot. Oh, and this one too. Alright, hopefully we can 
find both of these. This one's here. Let's get our bone knife back. All right, we'll cancel that. Move towards this other one while we... T oh, no. We need to get the, the bones, too, so we actually need to stick around. Man, I can't believe how much my bone knife has already degraded. Okay, we shot the bigger buck right here. Beautiful. Okay, how much hide do we have? Seven? I still don't think that's enough. We have... I left some back at the base. Let's grab some pumpkins to put on the fire. Yeah, oh man. There's a rabbit, but... Nah. That's not going to work so well. Oh, let's grab our arrow. Unless we try and knife him. Yeah, that worked. I think. Where did he go? Right there. Okay. That gives us one more piece of hide. All right. Well, let's um, let's work our way back to the. All right. There's another deer. Oh, lucky shot in the dark. Totally lucky shot in the dark. Uh, all right. Okay, we got to repair this. That gives us 12 fur. That might... Whoa. That might be just enough... To make our bedroll. So let's get back to the cave. We have an opportunity to shoot anything else along the way. We will, but it is dark. Okay. So we have just enough. Look at that. Just enough to make the bedroll. Beautiful. Right on the money, honey. Okay. Let's put uh, this and this in here and grab the cooked meat out of there. And we just have to set this down somewhere close to the, to the thing. Um, you know what? We're just going to put it there and we're going to sleep. Let's also um, set this as our spawn point. Okay, now we, we need to find some oxide like pronto. And there we go. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. So I'm going to grind for a while, and uh, when I get to a point where I think it's good for us to start the next episode, I'll bring you guys back at that point, and we will start the next episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button, and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.